Quarter to seven now. Thanks to state lawmakers, Texas homeowners have more protections from overzealous homeowners associations. Consumer expert Amy Davis is here to tell us about the bill signed into law and when they take effect, Amy. Yeah, we wanted to follow up because we told you back in April that legislators were considering three dozen bills that would rein in abusive HOAs. So six of them passed. Clearly, not all HOAs are bad. We know that. But when they do overreach, these new laws give homeowners some protections. From the state capitol to your front lawn, Texas lawmakers and Governor Greg Abbott passed a bevy of laws that help homeowners stand up to heavy-handed HOAs. This was a very successful session for homeowners. Attorney David Kahn represents homeowners against abusive HOAs, and he says it'll be easier with the new laws. Most take effect September 1st. If you have a pool, your HOA cannot tell you that you can't have a fence around it. They can't specify what type of fence, but you can always put up one kind, no question. Asked. There's a, a specific provision that a black mesh fence that's not too tall that cannot be climbed is allowed. So the homeowners know one thing that they can do without being opposed. Lawmakers got serious about security, banning HOAs from restricting things like security cameras and motion sensors. And every homeowner in Texas will be allowed to put up a fence around the perimeter of their property. Now, this is not something that most homeowners will want, but the bill is clear that if that's what you want for security purposes, you can have it. Effective immediately, homeowners that want to put up a religious display like a cross on their property cannot be prohibited by an HOA. If your HOA board makes a budget amendment, they must do it now at an open public meeting. And any association must obtain bids before awarding any contract more than $50,000. So also new, if you're late paying your HOA dues, your HOA can still report you to a credit reporting agency, but they cannot charge you the fee to do that. It's usually a couple hundred bucks. Khan says putting that burden back on the HOA will make them less likely to report homeowners who have fallen behind and more willing to work with them on payment plans or catching up. So on click2houston.com right now, we're linking you to these new laws and some resources for homeowners who may need help with their homeowners associations. Yeah, it's a complicated move.